What's up guys, my name's Tyler and welcome to another edition of the Lawn Review. Man, it's been a minute since I put out a long form video. Just not a lot of lawn care projects going on in Nashville, Tennessee during the winter months, but we are knocking on spring's door. It's starting to get a little bit warmer. We're getting, starting to get a little bit closer to spring. And with that comes my planning process. I've started to think about some of the projects that I'm really excited about doing in 2023. One of which is, I can't wait to turn this back right corner of my yard into like a landscape rock kind of flagstony path I'm gonna put this fire pit on top of it maybe some Adirondack chairs maybe relocate this swing over back there with a couple like six by sixes and you know an arbor sort of thing got a lot of cool things in the pipeline for 2023 one of which also is I'm gonna completely renovate my mother-in-law's yard she doesn't know this yet but I'm gonna kill everything do a hard reset hard restart so if you've been interested in doing that in your lawn and you want to know exactly step Step by step in like super granular detail on how I do that. I did that in my lawn a few years ago. I'm really gonna do a better job this time of filming it and making sure that I cover all the bases, everything you need to know and how to completely reset your lawn. Uh, we're gonna do that in 2023. So a lot of cool projects coming down the pipeline this year. I'm really excited about it. But none of that is what you're here for today. Today we are doing a deep dive on the Skill PowerCore 40 multi-head. We're really gonna take a deep dive on the Weed Eater and Edger attachments. Do a quick unboxing, let you know what you can expect when you get this from the store and uh, some of the assembly that's required with this tool and then some of the things that I like most about this tool and then maybe some, some things that I don't like about it where I think Skill might have missed the mark on. So stick around. We've also got some cool announcements about the channel and the website itself, so make sure you stick around for that. But let's dive in and see if this gets a TLR stamp of approval. So let's do a quick unboxing just to let you know what to expect when you get this from a store. I'll show you exactly what comes in the box and what you'll need to buy or what you won't need to buy. Right off the bat, you can expect the box to be very difficult to open. All right, so you got the multi-tool head itself. Then there's a brush guard and an adjustable handle, a charging base, a four amp hour, 40 volt lithium ion battery, user manual, and the head of the string trimmer weed eater itself. And it appears to come preloaded with string too. Although it looks like it is extremely thin string. I've, that's like tooth floss string. So you might want to restring this one. And we also have the edger attachment and the box smells like beef jerky. So that's cool. But it's just another attachment that you can use on this multi-tool head or multi-head. So the vast majority of the setup process of this tool will be already done for you. Like basically right up when it comes out of the box. But there is some assembly that's required basically to connect the head to the unit itself that powers it. There's a little yellow arrow right here that you just fit in right here. And there's a little, a little dimple right here that you push in, pops into place, and then you tighten it right here to just like affix it and like as a safety precaution. Yeah, the audio got ruined here because a big gust of wind came by. So I'm gonna spare you the pain. I'm just gonna voice over this. To apply the handle, basically there's this red little wing nut that you take off and then pop it on and you can adjust it wherever you'd like. And then the brush guard itself, there are some screws that you need to take off with the Allen wrench that is provided in the owner's manual. And then you just pop it on, it's really easy. All right guys, so now that we understand what comes in the box and what assembly is required, if any, obviously not a ton. Now let's talk about some of the key features of this string trimmer. This is part of Skill's PowerCore 40 line. They claim to have doubled the battery life and given you 25% more runtime. I'm not sure I understand the math on that one. But nevertheless, if you have an older skill model, you could expect longer run times with this tool. Obviously, I'm gonna put this to the test and let you know exactly how long you could expect for this to be able to run, but supposedly this runs a lot longer. We'll find out. All right, so another cool feature with this skill line is this power jump charger. I thought it was really cool. It supercharges for like the first 15 minutes. So you get 30% of the charge in the first 15 minutes, which is awesome if you're like working on a job and then all this, you got a little bit left, maybe one more strip or two to weed eat or whatever you're doing at edge and your battery dies. Well, you could just pop this on the charger, wait about 15 minutes and you got 30% battery life. I thought that was really cool. 
So when using the charging base, the battery itself has a blinking light indicator letting you know where it is at in the charging process. And then there's also a light on the side that tells you the kind of the status of the charger if there's any issues with it at all, but pretty simple. And the Paracore 40 head itself is powered by a brushless motor as well. Brushless is basically the standard in the industry now. Brushed requires a little bit more friction and you can expect the battery life to be not be as long. Efficiencies to be a little bit lower than brushless. This just basically uses magnets and you know, I'm not gonna get into the whole specifics of that, but it basically should improve battery life and then the overall longevity of the motor itself. And the claimed runtime of this tool is just about 50 minutes, which is a lot of time. I consider my lawn to be pretty extensively landscaped. I've got a lot of beds that I have to weed eat around, a lot of trees and stuff like that and 50 minutes for me would be quite a long time. So I'm pretty impressed with the overall runtime of this tool. So while operating this power head, you do have a variable speed trigger that has a safety that actually is kind of sneakily awesome because it is both right hand and left hand kind of centric. Some of the other multi-head tools that I've used in the past are really specific to right hand and it kind of gets a little wonky if you're left handed, but this one doesn't matter. Either way, you can press it. So with both hands, I'll say. So this variable speed trigger, when you have that safety press down, just very lightly press it down if you just want a little bit of power and then you can hammer it down if you want to, you know, the full load. The multi-head also has two power levels, level one and level two. To switch between the two, all you have to do is flip the little switch on the handle. And looking at the weed eater head itself, this should have a 16 inch cutting swath. What does that mean? It's about the diameter of coverage that you have when this is spinning and the line is completely extended out. 16 inches is actually pretty long. Most of the electronic ones are battery powered or somewhere around the 14 to 15 inches. 16 is actually one of the wider cutting swaths I've seen. So the Skill Weed Eater head utilizes a twist load technology. Basically what that means is you don't have to take the head off, which can be, a lot of times be pretty cumbersome and annoying. This, all you have to do is get out some line about 10 feet or so and cut it off and then feed it through the end right here. There you go. Then you just pull equal sides on both sides of the head right here. And then you just grab this top part of the head, hold it in place and twist this red portion. That's all you have to do is just twist the red right here. And hold, holding the head, the top part of the head in place and you just twist it in. And if you have uneven sides, I'd just cut one end off. Make it a little bit more level. Looking at the edger attachment itself, this is actually a universal attachment, so you can use this with other tools as well, not just the skill multi-headed, but it also has a, it's a nine inch cutting radius on this. It will cut down to a depth of three inches, which should be good for most. Obviously a clippings deflector right here. So to adjust the height on this tool, this edger attachment, all you need to do is twist this black little wing nut sort of thing right here. You just loosen it right here and then you pull on the tire like portion itself. I don't know if you can see, but basically you go, that's gonna give you a little bit deeper of a cut. That's gonna give you more of a shallow cut. All right guys, so now that we touched on the user experience and some of the key features of this multi-head tool, now it's time to put some of those claims to the test. As always, I've got some zip ties. I am going to zip tie down the throttle on level one and level two to give you a realistic expectation on what you can expect from runtime. I know that they claim 50 minutes and there was an asterisk on it. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna put this to the test and let you know exactly how long this tool will run for. And I'm also gonna let you know exactly how long the charging process time takes. How about that piece? Piece of redneck ingenuity right there had to hold down the safety and the variable speed trigger so I'm pretty impressed with that It is 12.04 and I put the zip tie and battery in at 1.36, so about 28 minutes of runtime, which is considerably less than the 50 minutes advertised. I've got another fully charged battery. I'm going to run this on the second setting, so the higher power setting, so we can really get a good gauge between low setting and high setting and the differentiation between battery life on both.
All right, guys, it is 433 and the battery finally died on the second power setting, so the higher power setting. It wasn't a huge drop off, honestly, between the higher level setting and the lower level, set level setting. I anticipated more of a, a battery drain on the higher level, but it was actually like 23 minutes. So not too much shorter than the lower level setting. So now that I have a fully dead battery, I'm gonna throw this on the charging block and see how long it takes to completely charge the battery. It's 207, we'll see how long it takes. All right guys, so the battery is fully charged now. I put it on at 208 and it is now 335 and there's a fully charged battery. They advertised it to be a full charge in less than an hour. And as you can see, it was a little bit over about an hour and 20-ish minutes. So pretty close to advertise, but not 100% on the dot. And finally, the price on this is gonna run you about $199. And there's a five-year tool warranty and a two-year battery warranty. Pretty comparable to most other things in the industry. All right, guys, so after using this product pretty extensively over the past couple weeks or so. There's definitely a few things that I like about this tool, but there's also quite a few things that I did not like at all about this. I don't want to get too wordy on this. A couple of the things that I liked, the 16 inch cutting swath felt like that was good coverage. The overall durability of the tool felt good. And I really like the charging. That power jump is a really good idea, especially when for me, the times that I run out, I very rarely run out of battery right when I'm done with the job. So being able to get that extra 30% in like 15 minutes was really cool. Some of the things that I definitely did not like about this tool. Number one, the battery life wasn't really close to advertised. It was considerably less than 50 minutes. And also the fact that you could only use 0 0.08 inch line. That's a pretty thin line, especially if you've got landscaping beds with rocks or anything like that, or concrete borders around what you're trying to landscape. And I was also expecting there to be a pretty substantial jump from that level one to level two battery power output. And as you can see in the runtime, there was not a big difference between level one and level level two. And so that to me tells me that there's not a big uh, substantial draw happening when you go from level one to level two. So it was just like, all right, might as well just use level two if it's a little bit more powerful and just uses the battery a little bit more then might as well just use that level two. So in other TLR super exciting news, we've finally gone live with the TLR grass kicker weed eater line. This is just a prototype. Um, the official thing will look a little bit different, a little bit better, hopefully a little bit more cleaned up. But we've been working on that line for a long time. I know it sounds kind of simple. We tested dozens of different types of string trimmer line, trying to find the best balance of color, thickness, like diameter of the line itself. I talked about like 0 0.08, this is 0 0.09. So this line is not gonna work on the skill weed eater head, but we tested out tons of different types of weed eater string. Again, like I said, color, trying to give you the maximum visibility when you're, when you're using this, how you can see exactly where you're cutting. And then the diameter, plays a big role in the durability of the line and then the cut efficiency which is the shape and we so we finally settled on like a neon green triangle shape 0 0.095 inch line so our shopify page the whole back end is finally up and live and you could pre-order this um, there'll be a link right here down below you can pre-order it buy it yourself we expect the delivery to come in sometime around mid-March, mid to late March. So we'll get it out as soon as it comes in. And you can get a 20% off discount code by using, right here, I forgot the discount code. TLR Grass Kicker, this stuff kicks grass. Guys, thanks so much for checking out this week's video. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to throw them in the comment section. I'll run right outside and answer it as quickly as I can. Also, if you liked what you saw, if you consider subscribing, it would really help us out. It lets YouTube know that people are interested in this type of content. So if there's anything at all that you could do to help our channel, it would be to subscribe. And then maybe throw a like if you like the video as well. If you want a chance to win a different product every single month, I think we're on month number six right now. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, it's a Ryobi pressure washer. We're giving away a Ryobi pressure washer in the month of February. So if you want to be entered into a chance to win that, make sure you join our email list and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The way to join our email list will be in the top pinned comment of this video. Until next time, keep cutting. Peace.